of the Aussie Fisherman, Greg. Um, it's another rainy day today, so I've done three pots in a row and haven't got anything, so I'm hoping this one will have a couple more in it, or some in it. Uh, it's been a pretty quiet day today. Um, it's a really big tide, and sometimes I don't do that well on the real big tides. So, um, just got to keep going and um, see how we go with this next one. I like to go right up the top of these gullies. Um, this is not too bad. Let's see how we go. I only just moved this pot up here yesterday, so the day before yesterday actually. So it's had two nights. Oh yeah, looking good. I can see two, and then Ginny. Alrighty, eh? Just make sure they're all on the bottom, so when I go to get them out, they don't fall. I think there's more. Oh, there's about four in there. Four bucks and what was it three? One, two. No, three bucks and a Ginny. Wow, I'm starting to get a bit excited. Okay, fellas, out just come. That's a. Females come out first, so I'll just show you. I'll have this fella before he gets away. See how the flaps on a, on a female is a lot bigger than the male? They usually got smaller nippers than a big body, and uh, you see that's how you hold a pretty easy to hold a mud crab if you hold them like that. So he's in the Queensland, we've got to release um, female crabs, so you can go back. And this fella here. He's, I'll just show you how I, he's, I know he's well oversized, but I'll just show you how we measure him. See, that's a measure I got from Iron and Bark, the pe local people that make a lot of uh, stainless steel stuff. And see, he's miles over. So I'll tie him up. We've had a lot of rain this lately and it's just starting to drizzle a bit again now. Alrighty oh, Who's next out of the out of the cab? Come out of the, come on, out you come. Out you come. Over here. Come on. His ultimate crab pots, uh, pro crab pots that I get from Jay, uh, they are really good crab pots, they are uh, so well made and and as you can see they catch pretty good as well. It's always better to tie your crabs up, that way they don't get to chew each other when you put them in a tub. Look at the size of this one, he's a nice crab. Hey, he's a nice crab that far. Look, you can see he's hard as a rock, he's brown underneath there. He's, he's everything that you want in a in a mud crab when you're catching them. take all the short bits home and, and dispose them at home so they don't get chucked out in the water. Put these guys up in here. Yeah, she hasn't been a real good day today. We've only got a, a dozen, I think it is, so far. I've still got quite a few more pots to do. But still, it's pretty been pretty slow. All right. Now, we'll close the door so any new ones don't get out tomorrow. Get rid of the old bait. Put a couple of 
mullet heads in. I find mullet heads are pretty good bait, and I buy them from our local guy that where I sell my crabs actually at uh, McKay Re Re Reef Supplies. Pretty good mob to deal with if you want to go and buy some fish and crabs and prawns. Right, I'm going to set it back here. Sometimes when there's, you get three or four in a pot like that, there could be others outside not game to go in. So I'm hoping that I'll set it back here. We might get a couple more tomorrow. So that's that's it now. I'll head off to another pot. Um, it looks like it's going to start raining pretty soon. And, uh, and uh, I don't mind because it's a little bit cooler you know, up here in North Queensland in the, the hot days. It gets pretty hot in the boat here, so um, these days where it's just overcast and raining a little bit, it's not too bad. So this is the Aussie Fisherman, signing off.